Salutations everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play The Darkest Dungeon. I'm your host, Brainboy Twenty. we'd last left off, we had been dragging this party kicking and screaming through the cove, many of which taking tons of hits and tons of damage. And... There's not much else to really say. Except we are continuing on clearing a road to the boss of this place. But the wild, we have a hag to destroy. How about we don't take a Death's Door artifact? Eh, anyway. Let us... Let us see if we can we assemble... With all the people that we've got, can we assemble a party... That's actually good... At dealing with... A hag. Wakalicious is a must. Beringer? Most definitely. Cause you'll be in the second you'll be in the second to last row. Hmm. Ah, damn. I would very much like to make sure you had um I would like to hold on to on guard, although I probably shouldn't spend money on someone who we've wanted to kill. And you're also a warrior of light. You know what? This might actually be a decent enough party with what we've got going. But in the meantime, before we do this, let's make sure everyone's actually fully leveled. Yes, take your sniper's mark, take your sniper's shot, and take the battlefield bandage. Kudero should not need this because he's a long time. Sorry, he's a long time veteran. But this also means that... Does anyone here actually need armor and equipment? No. Interesting. We ought to equip all trinkets. Reynolds, you are in fact DPS. You are so much DPS, in fact, that you're going to get the Crusader's orders. And then we'll toss on the Ancestor's Candle, just because it's overall the best item that we have. You're still going to tank... As a result of tanking, didn't we have something that was actually decent for you? Where, oh, where's the conch? No oh, magic conch shell. There we go. That prevents any debuffs from hitting you. And the accuracy isn't exactly needed because. Those stresses undo each other. You have less of a virtue chance, but you increase your damage and speed. 10% extra health doesn't exactly matter because we're DPS racing the majority of the time. Overture box, because we want you to have the highest dodge chance at this side of space. And where, oh, where? Where, oh, where is the lantern? I want to see if I can surprise, because if I can get a surprise off, then things are good. If I can't, I cry. And now as for you... A decent enough scouting chance. You're not going to be in the back row. I need your speed. But I also would like your healing. Yes, we'll have you be healing to a degree, and make it so your stress does not rise immensely. And since it is a boss fight, we get one usage of campfire skills. So does anyone have campfire skills that are completely astastic that need to be replaced? No, everyone actually has good campfire skills. Meaning we could toss everyone else into... You'll only meditate, won't you? <sighs> Lilith. Pray. Who else has stress? Daryl. Daryl is still gone. I don't want to know why Daryl is missing. Actually, wait, I can figure out why Daryl's missing. I'm curious. What events occurred to cause Daryl? Quest to achieve enlightenment. Uh, we'll get rid of Vertigo. And I've got enough gold where I could probably toss someone into treatment. 
Question is, is does anyone have anything that's actually good here to keep? Specifically, anyone high level have anything good to keep? Bordekin, I need to really fix you, because you're just kind of useless at this point in time. Laughing. You already have Deadly saved. Um... Let's see, Nod. No, you... Uh, Wild Tactician, no. Trilby. You have nothing. Bakiri. Hmm. Quick reflexes actually ain't bad. And we could take care of Bad Gambler. No, we could take care of Plutomania. Fluffy, you have something better to fix. Talvase, how about you? No. Herbard. Deadly is not... Well, technically deadly on your healing skill is actually helpful. But then again, you're not useful later, because I want raw power at high-level missions. Yeah, so I guess we're just gonna stick with Fluffy. Or stick with Picuri. Because I could still take you on high-level-ish missions. And take care of Plutomania. Alright, we've got our party-ish. Everyone's already equipped, and let's go try and kill the hag. Finally. Overstock on food. Always overstock on food. Always overstock on shovels, because you never know what the heck the game's going to decide to say. You totally needed more shovels, right? Right? Uh, we'll take two entire stacks of torches. And I think we're good. One more medicinal herbs. Let's go. As time wore on, her wild policy of self-experimentation grew intolerable. She quaffed all manner of strange fungi, herbs, and concoctions, intent on gaining some insight into the horror we both knew to be growing beneath us. The change in her was appalling, and no longer able to stomach it, I sent her to live in the weald where her wildness would be welcomed. And now we have to fix your mess yet again. There is method in the wild corruption here. It bears a form both wretched and malevolent. Already a room battle with treasure. And we already know that the boss is going to be down there, so there's no surprises here. Who here has the decent trap disarm? You do. Excellent. Our trap disarmor is also the one that has the most stress. Oh my gosh. More food? I will gladly take that. Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. Well, on the bright side, we're basically guaranteed excessive amounts the of food. Way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Okay. Defender on you. For we know Pudero is going to be taking some hits. Finale. It can kill. Please? You son of a... This is fine. We'll just start focusing on the corrupted giant because I have nothing else to target. Kill. <sighs> you see, this is what I wanted to not happen. Ah. <laughs> well, you're guarded. No reason in defending, let's just bolster. Please? Useless. There is no reason to embrace the dark here. You're just being really annoying. The formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Oh, can I stun you? Not a high enough chance. I'll actually move forward one and hope that Reynold takes the hit. Nope. Dazed. Reeling. About to break. <sighs> oh, 
Okay, good. You actually hit the correct target for once. Rampart. I'm not surprised that it resisted the stun. Just focus everything else on trying to kill him as fast as possible. And hope and pray. I will gladly take poison spores because I could actually resist that. Heal. And maybe you'll live. Maybe. Well, not with that dodge. Shouldn't this be buffing your accuracy as well? It is. Well. He took it. He took it like a champ. That's a crit I desperately wanted to see. That too. A lot of the stuff is crits I've really wanted to see here. And we'll just keep the battle ballad going and hope and pray. Masterfully executed. No! Okay, confusion spores. Of all things, confusion spores does not suck. It's just a light amount of damage. Uh, kill. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. <laughs> Default order. This is why we have excessive amounts of food. And don't want to try opening this. I don't think I'm going to get a secret room out of this. Or if I am, I'm probably not going to take it anyway. D no, we'll have you open it. Yeah, it was trapped. Well, we resisted it anyway, so keep moving. Keep moving, keep hoping. Oh, don't steal it, Poudreau. Fuck you. Fuck you, you ignoble bastard. Alright, you're not gonna have your speed boost anymore, but we can finale the insatiable ghoul. I would love to defend. But I think killing these guys off makes more sense. Well, that is if I could successfully manage to do so. You'll just have to focus all your efforts on the insatiable ghoul. One shot. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Well, that's one down. Wakalicious, of course, takes a hit, but that's not much we could do to avoid this. Wow! Why are they all targeting Wakalicious? I don't like you. We'll actually bandage that and just play a sad, sad tune to yourself. What is your stun? Your stun's actually fairly high. Let's push you back. I don't want you to take an action if I could avoid it. Can you not? Can ye not? I don't need any more skulls for my collection. Yours will do quite nicely. Beringer. You're useless. Can you not crit at every single possible opportunity? Sincerely, me. Ringing ears. I guess we're gonna have to abandon this. The end approaches. The sheer number of crits that the enemy have been getting on us is obscene. Impressive. We haven't even been doing nearly as many in response. Well, it looks like I think I can guarantee you guys going first. Nope, not in the slightest. Heal yourself. Oh, that is actually really interesting. Give them no quarter. So the healing buff. This food actually is more useful. Also, before I forget, let's turn the torch light on just to keep his ability active. Oh no, it's not active. It's active at 50 or above. Default! Default! No! Why are we dealing with so many giants? 
This is absurd. We're going first, that much I can say. I think that's all I can hope for at this point. Yeah, they both mark. We actually want to kill the corrupted giant ASAP. A dizzying blow to body and brain. Yeah, we're gonna have to abandon this after spending all the money that we could possibly afford. As life ebbs, terrible vistas of emptiness reveal themselves. <sighs> I want to take a sniper shot, but I can't take the shot. I have to make sure you live. I don't want to lose another high-level person because I just got ridiculously unlucky for no good reason. As I said, getting ridiculously lucky or unlucky for no good reason. We're just taking tons of damage. At last, the greatest joke of all, get rid of the venom. It's all this food, all this stuff. All for nothing. A devastating blow. All because of two corrupted giants back to back and a bunch of crits on a previous fight. Well, Reynolds is probably gonna finally take the hit that does him in. Nope. Just poison spored again. And now the true test. Hold fast or expire. Finally. Please. Heal him. We're just keeping this going because we just need to go first in every combat. You... Okay, that didn't deal damage. And Escape Cloud goes off, which is basically going to be Escape Clouding every turn. One down. Destroy them all. One down, one to go. You might as well just play a sad tune. Because this was something completely ruined. I think I might actually have to risk the stun. A powerful blow. I didn't risk the stun. The stun risked me. Blind fire. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. This expedition at least promises success. I'm going to use the firewood. Circle in the dark. The battle may yet be won. I have to burn this so early. Because I'm going to at least go and collect treasure. That's all I'm going to do. So the speech, stand tall, removes mortality debuff from target. Uh, stand tall. This caused me nothing but pain. Um, maybe. I don't even know anymore. I might just give a zealous vigil. Just for no nighttime ambush, mommy. Marching plan. And some encouraging words would probably not be amiss. In radiance, may we find victory. Please be something. It was nothing worthwhile. All right, maybe, just maybe, we can pass on by. Also, default party order, please. We kind of desperately need it. Stun? No. It's just knockback. Excellent, Derry. You haven't gone yet, and you're not that resistant to stun. 
but you dodge regardless. So I am glad, as always. A Grim Harvest is actually very out of place here, so we're just going to continue with the battle balloting in hopes that we can actually do something. Like, these buffs here that we have are supposed to be saved for the hag. But unfortunately, that doesn't seem like that's a thing that's supposed to occur here. Well struck. Maybe, just maybe, kill? Why would you kill? Why would that ever be a thing that could occur? Nope, you'll just have to miss, because the gargoyle is apparently a very fast bastard, and with a low roll on damage, once again proving that we can't kill anything or hit the broadside of a barn. Unnerved. Unbalanced. That was all our supplies. Gone in a single instant. Maybe? Who do I want to hit? You, in all honesty, because you have more health. One zealous accusation should finish them both off. If nothing else, it'll get them really damn close. The bigger the beast, the greater the glory. Heal. Like, we honestly need the burst heal to even continue fighting through this. I mean, I guess... Maybe we can get the bleed to go off, who knows. You can't staunch the flow, so... Well, you might as well inspire and cry yourself. Just undo a little damage. Because you can't hit him anyway. Some semblance of health is returned. Wakalicious manages to claim a kill. Ghoulish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. Honestly, the citrine is worth more. Turn on the light. Is struck. A blazing star is born. Let's just go through and hope. Scouting reveals. Battle into battle. Into battle. Or more battles. So we're guaranteed to run out of any of our buffs that we had on us before we get to the hag. And there's at minimum two more battles between us and the hag. You know what they say about this? They say it, you, you should know when to fold them. And we're going to suffer the stress of defeat. Because, oh my gosh, that was, there was no peril in the town. worst fight ever. There can be no glory in its accomplishment. Yes, but when there's no peril in the task, the task is easy to complete. I think Wakalicious finally makes it to full. Lost balance and got flagellant. My obsession caused this great foulness, and it is shameful that I must rely upon you to set it right. That was painful. But it is a good stopping point for the episode here. Hope you've enjoyed watching. This has been Brainboy20 with Let's Play The Darkest Dungeon, and I'm signing off. If you enjoyed the video, remember to like, comment, or subscribe. It was a great deal, and I hope to see you all next time. Farewell.